One thing I've definitely found true is that conversations with people that you want to do business with are so much easier if you can provide some value first. So people that I'm looking to do some stuff with, I'm going to, you know, a lot of times I'm leading that with some sort of uh, some sort of value offer, either a PDF, some kind of video um, idea that I came up with, and, and I'll give you an example of how this works. So say, for example, I want to get some loan officers to raise their hand because they need help getting realtor partners, all right? So I could go, or let's just use your, in your case, we'll just use realtors. So I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're a loan officer trying to get realtors. So I'm just going to use you as an example instead of using me. That'll just make more sense. All right, so you're trying to get realtors. What you can do is, as an example, you could make a post on Facebook and you could say, hey, realtors, I have a PDF with you know the best home buyer checklist I've ever seen drop me a comment if you if you'd like a copy of it right or hey I have a script that's working really well for us right now to convert leads from Facebook let me know if you'd like a copy of that in the comments and I'll shoot it over to you and those kind of posts where we call them like a value bomb those kind of posts they blow up and so you're going to see it, it sometimes it's a slow roll in the beginning and then it's like a steamroll later on as people realize that this post is safe and popular everybody else is going to jump on the bandwagon and want to make sure they're not missing out on something you know they don't want to see all their friends get some kind of piece of information or a secret from you and they're not going to know it so that's why everybody's going to ask for it and, and the, the truth is sometimes when you make a post like this it can even be overwhelming the amount of people that want your thing I always send the value offer. I don't email it to them. I send it through Facebook Messenger, right? So it's more a little more personal than than an email. And then you have the ability to follow up later. Look, now you've get delivered value. Now, you know, you can wait a week and go, "Hey, how how did you like that checklist? How has it helped you so far?" Or, "Hey, did you get a chance, you know, what was your favorite tip on that video that I sent over?" Or you can ask them something to follow up. Number 1, they haven't done it. It's going to prompt them to go do the thing, right? Because they're going to be like, oh, damn, you know, he sent me the thing. I didn't even watch it or I didn't even look at this thing. And, and don't let it hurt your feelings when that happens because, man, people just want access. They don't actually want to go through the information or do the work. And in general, humans just want access to the thing. So if you're going to go out there and offer a PDF, a million people are going to ask for it. And then this little small percentage of them are going to actually read it or do something with the information. But that's the point of the follow-up is if they haven't done it, say, hey, maybe you're like me and it's better to do it with some a little bit of help. Like, uh, I don't know, would you be opposed to me stopping by your office and helping you out with that? Or, you know, I mean, then you have the ability to to move in and, and have a conversation or go in and do something and, and be able to meet up and create some kind of movement out of that initial value piece. So think about that, right? If you're, if you're trying to figure out how do you provide value to realtors so that you can create some cool conversations, Think about doing a value bomb post and go out there and just find something that's cool that realtors will like or make your own thing and uh, offer it out there you know, as a PDF or audio or video or something like that that you can send people out through, through Messenger. And those value bombs are going to create a lot of conversations and then you have the ability to go in and make an ask of actually meeting up with them and you know, helping them solve some of their problems. So that's been cool. Hopefully it helps you out as well. See ya.